Mickey James. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Richmond, Virginia, Mickey James. A six time oh. champion. Well, great in-ring IQ, exceptional grappling skills for Mickey James. Owns one of the most devastating strikes in the women's division, the mid-kick. Might have one ready for her opponent here tonight. Well, she has one ready for you. Here comes the queen, the franchise, and the self-proclaimed opportunity. And from the Queen City, the SmackDown Women's Champion, Charlotte Flair. You know, the WWE Universe, at least many in it, believe that she's been handed title opportunities in main events. Well, many of those same doubters live in their parents' basements, Cole. I wouldn't necessarily value their opinion. This is Charlotte Flair. This is the queen. This is the opportunity. So, Byron, from your parents' basement, what do you feel about Charlotte Flair? First of all, I moved out last week, Michael. And second of all, I do think Charlotte's ego could be a bit out of control at times. After everything Charlotte Flair has accomplished in her career, her ego is allowed to be as big as it possibly can be. She's got an amazing robe. Saxton, how have you not learned by now? You need to open the ropes for the queen. Corey, haven't you heard? I'm no longer on robe duty. Oh, I didn't get that memo. Mickey James loves to come out here and scrap. Loves to show the new generation of female superstars how it's done. Absolutely, Michael. Mickey James constantly wants to show that she can still go and that she can still outwork just about anyone in the current women's division. And I believe she proves just that every time the bell rings, Byron. And in Charlotte Flair, there's a standout talent whose athleticism, power, and natural ability simply embody everything you could possibly want in a sports entertainer, male or female. Like father, like daughter, Byron, every time Charlotte steps into the ring, she's coming with both her own experience as a highly decorated WWE superstar and all the experience passed down to her. Charlotte setting it up. Breaker from the second rope. Chuck block. Brilliant. Right to the back of the knee. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Charlotte experiencing a bit of a challenge to the natural in-ring ability she prides herself in. Yeah, as Mickey proving she's still got it. And then some. Charlotte is a competitor whose reputation precedes her. Corey, how do you stop a superstar as accomplished as Charlotte Flair? Pray and clear your mind, Cole. If you're spending more time thinking about Charlotte's reputation and less time on refusing to let her gain an inch in that ring, you've already lost the match. And it's Charlotte with the reverse. And here we go. And just able to make it to the ropes. That was a close call. Makes the cover. One. She kicks out in one. Close call, but not enough yet. 
looking for the back slap. Oh my! Into a driver. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Here's a snapmare. And a basement drop kick. From the middle rope. And she doesn't connect. Really just laying it in. She turns it right around with a counter. Now reversal catches Mickey. Able to get the advantage here. Ooh, look at her answering back. Pick the leg. Oh, man. That'll tear your hand. Plenty of hits coming her way now. Mickey gets out of the way. Oh, no. First DDT. Spinning heel kick. Mickey James with a mick kick. Right there, Mickey reminding everyone just how effective her offense can still be. Mickey knows if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Charlotte's in a poor position. DDT plants that. That might topple the queen. And into the count. Two. Three. And it does it. Mickey James captures the win. Here is your winner, Mickey James. Big effort tonight. A well-earned victory here tonight. If this outcome becomes a pattern for Charlotte, her future's gonna look very, very bleak. I don't think that's gonna be the case, Corey. You don't get paid to think.